public transport system will be, once and for all, accessible. The city has yeah. laid a condition on the developer to bring the buses as close as possible, not to the point where they knock the shoppers over. Our buses should be designed so that we can get wheelchairs onto them and I think, things like I think those that. Sort because of the buses are coming. You see, think, Andy, do you listen you to what people are saying? People like this. Well, I'm people listening to that very strongly now, Anna. But four years ago, the powers to do just that kind of thing about designing buses and planning bus routes were taken away from us by the government. They did what they called deregulating buses. Yes. And we lost overnight. We used to run West Midlands Passenger Transport. We're now being forced to sell it off. Uh, we're trying to sell it off to the workers, which we think is the best thing. A voice thing. we haven't heard. But, that, but that's the only thing we can do. We can't run the buses. Thank you, Anna. Obviously, what we have a situation, we have a, uh, we have a councillor there who's on the controlling group of the planning committee, as I am on the planning committee, but as a conservative in opposition. We have an example here tonight of, of um, as I see it, uh, a moral cop-out. One minute, um, the controlling group is saying that we are going to stop you having this programme here tonight by Sir Dick Knowles. Now we've got uh, a Labour member actually saying, whatever decision we made, we make, is not our fault, it's the government's fault. Yes. Now that is a moral cop-out. It's a disgrace indeed. It is up to the planning committee to decide what sort of development we have. And I'm listening to these people here. I want to see the ball ring redeveloped. But what I want to see is the emphasis on the old marketplace, the place where people want to come and they feel that they are actually in the ball ring. So how are you going to vote? How would you vote? For I will vote for redevelopment emphasis on the market as as old Birmingham used to yeah. be. But you've, That's got to where I will stand. you've got to take this as a package. Are you going to vote for this or against it? I will, I will, with the group, we, we know how we're going to go, because tonight has proved the point. We want it redeveloped, some of the old rubbish out of the way, and the emphasis on the market. But are you going to vote I, for I or against it? I will vote for redevelopment with I'll emphasis. We, <laughs> shall, right. we will be putting our own views next to those days, and that is what we will be doing, I can assure you. <laughs> And we will be responsible for our vote, but the city will be responsible for the decision. So you're not really going to vote for, but you're not really going to vote against? They will vote for redevelopment, <laughs> emphasis on the market. Can I say, Jeff, it strikes me that there's an argument that goes that you're having to drag Birmingham, kicking and screaming, into some form of redevelopment. Is this, as, as somebody who doesn't live in the city, is this how you view the city? It's not, a, it's going to be, the bull ring will work if it's a partnership. The bull ring will work if it's a partnership between the city, the council, the people and the developer. This is not true. This is a pack of lies and rubbish. Don't come and hogwash. You're lying and you're saying to him on television what you're going to do. But this is not what you're going to do. You're going to destroy the market. You're going to build your shopping centre and you can have the market totally eradicated from the city centre. Gentlemen, there was a cabin. of the market. I think we've gone past the market debate. Go on. How is it going to be paid for? This is going to be a very, very expensive development for the retail trade. The retail trade spends more in a year than the government spends on roads. And this, this cabbage is what pays for it. That's why food is expensive. That's yeah, why things yeah. cost you a hell of a lot. I knew that cabbage would come back into the argument. What will happen if these plans are kicked out next Wednesday? Jeff. You can visit the ball, <laughs> you can visit, visit the ball ring in 25 years and it'll look the same as it does now, only a bit tattier. Can you tell us how the vote will go? Anna, I, I can't tell you how the vote will go. I am, as I said, I'm very sceptical about the scheme. I know that some of my colleagues will vote for it on the simple understanding, and I'm not sure this will be the case, but, but, but some of them certainly will, that it would go in the end on appeal to the government and we'd end up with something worse. But and that is what happened. But you want to redevelop it. I have to say, after 10 years on the planning committee, watching this happen week in, week out, it is very depressing. But we, we get into negotiating positions trying to get a bit back for a but plump. How long I don't think this, we've been courageous. How long enough. must this go on for? Because this debate over the future of the bull ring has been going for how many years? Two, three, three, three years? Three how long years. is it going to go on for? Because it's, if I might, it seems that you are, co as somebody said, cotting out of this. Well, we don't have the money to develop it ourselves as a city. We're not given that money. We don't have it. We certainly couldn't raise it from the residents of Birmingham in poll tax. That would be appalling. Well, how does some you, this group of people up here, very briefly, you're from Coventry. What do you make of Birmingham as a place to come and do your Christmas shopping? It's a very good shopping centre. You think it's a good shopping centre? Yes. Do you want to see it redeveloped? Um, it could probably be 
Yes, possibly. A little I'm going to yes. give Jeff the last word because he's had a lot of people against him. Tell us briefly why you think that they have got to vote for this next Wednesday. I'm all ears. To keep the market and to keep them trading, to bring some new shopping, to add them both together, to start to move Birmingham shopping up as the rest of the city is moving up. Don't leave the shopping behind. You've got a wonderful city, it's getting better, bring the shopping with it. Thank you very much indeed, Nicky. Well, I think we must say at the outset, thank you very much to the architect who was prepared to come in and discuss this in the rarefied atmosphere of Central Weekend. No thanks though, no thanks go to the Labour leader of the council who thought this was not fit for debate. But you still have a chance to make your opinions known, write to the council with what you think. Lots of phone calls, just one to read you out, it's a frivolous one or a flippant one, as uh, a dolphin might say. Uh, Ray Moorcroft in Ackup's Green says the only thing he wants improved in Birmingham is a football team that plays at St Andrews. <laughs> Thank you very much as well. Thank you very much to the star of the show tonight, The Cabbage. Uh, we'll be back in two weeks' time. The, the, the snooker net, more greens next week with a snooker. See you in two weeks. <laughs>